As education is critical to the future of our society, if we learn any lessons from the past, it's providing people with the skills and training to create an environment that is ready for the economy uh, to grow. Uh, can I say, first of all, I'm particularly delighted that my consistency colleague Rory Quinn has been appointed Minister for Education and Skills. He's a record as a minister in previous government and as a spokesman on education. I believe Rory uh, will lead uh, change in the education system and has already hit the ground running, I believe. We need change right throughout the system, and we must try to do that within the resources we currently have. It's, and we do have to say it's very clear that there has been significant numbers of extra personnel have been employed in education. Uh, and we should, you know, we should say, say that and acknowledge that has happened. The numbers are there, it stacks up to point, despite what was said earlier. But it's clear that that, that return in the investment has been disappointment. You know, it hasn't delivered. If we look at the OECD uh, report, uh, the, the PISA literacy ranking for 2009, which uh, was a wake-up call for Irish education, where one in ten children had serious difficulty in reading and writing. In 2006, Ireland was ranked fifth in the OECD for literacy, and by 2009, we had dropped to 17th out of 34 countries, ranked by the OECD, a sharp decline. And, and, and that's there and there within the reports. There is also evidence of the decline of literacy standards in teenagers. One in six of 15-year-olds and up to one in four teenagers by, uh, uh, boys do not have sufficient literacy skills to function in a knowledge-intensive in, uh, society. There is no standardisation of testing of literacy at second level, and this needs to be addressed. Uh, to bring students up and let nobody fall through the gaps. You know, numeracy skills have also been identified by the OEC reports, also show are below average. Now, before Labour was in government and Aon, Deputy Aon Reardon had, had spearheaded the Right to Read campaign, uh, and we're proposing now that the Right to Read ca campaign should be implemented to improve literacy skills in, disav in disadvantaged areas and target literacy black spots. Despite all the investments in numbers, it is a shocking indictment of the previous government that the collapse in literacy and numbers of these skills that have been shown up by the OECD reports. Problems of literacy are not isolated to primary schools. If we're looking, and further is that the, with the science, issues of maths and scientific skills decline. Uh, of students taking higher level maths particularly and also science overall. And if you look at the figures from the, pa from the past, 40% of students doing junior cert maths take higher level but drops down to 20% 20 20 for leaving cert. I welcome the Project Maths initiative but I think much more needs to be done if we're going to capture the new areas. In, in my own consistency, some of the biggest employers are now tech companies such as Google, Facebook and Betfair. All require strong literacy and numeracy skills and, as do not, and also to support companies that go along with that. The concerns raised by senior management uh, in Google about the quality of Irish graduates must be a wake-up call. People, pe and I quote, people applying for jobs with impressive qualifications but basic literacy errors in our CVs is an embarrassment. Now, we need to look at what we're producing and lift the bar. The results from the OECD report clearly points out that our education system is no near, nowhere near the best in the world. Concerns, 30 seconds, David. Okay, concerns expressed last year of grades inflation at third, year, third level must also be addressed. There should be nowhere to hide in our education system. We should demand and get the best for our children. And just in conclusion, can I just welcome the change in the administration of the third level grants announced today by the Minister. Many in this House will have had to deal with parents and students wait on a response from their local authorities on whether we get a grant or whether they could, could afford to stay on in third level education. I welcome the allocation of the administration of, to the City of Dublin Vocational Education Committee uh, for the centralisation of this. Thank you. Uh, the one regret, and I finish on this. The one regret I have is that you know that I had, when I was elected a TD, 
I had to leave my colleagues in the CDVEC, and I do believe that they will do an excellent job. Uh, thank you for your patience. Thank you, Deputy Mike.